Hi everyone, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk and I'm very excited to bring you my review of LG's external Blu-ray disc rewriter. Now this is model number BE06LU10. It's a USB external writer. You can get an LU20 that's just come onto the market. It's exactly the same drive and all it adds is an eSATA interface onto the back of the device. So as I said, this is the LU10. It's a USB uh, device, USB 2 connection on the back. I just wanna show you what you get inside the box. You do get a printed manual, which is very nice, and it talks you through actually connecting the drive and the various features, etc. So it's nice that LG include a printed manual for you. You do also get a CD with a Cyberlink, Blu-ray, and HD DVD software on it, which allows playback of Blu-ray media on a PC. And then you get a power brick here, which is a multi-voltage power brick, figure eight connector on one end, and the connector to go in the back of the drive on the other. And then because we're in the UK, we get a three pin UK plug to use with that adapter. So now let's move on to showing you the drive itself. So I'll just quickly show you the drive physically before plugging it into the power socket. The device is quite big, uh, but it's got a nice gloss white and gloss black combination color finish. It's got a soft touch button on the front for ejecting the, the tray to hold the media. And then around the side, it's a nice clear black gloss color. The underside purely just has some rubber feet on the bottom. And then around the back of the unit, we've just got the simple connection for the power supply and also the USB 2 cable. Now let's get this drive plugged in and I'm gonna show you my angle because I'm looking at it from a Mac user's perspective to see whether this drive is usable on the Mac platform. Now the drive's all plugged in and inset on your screen, you're gonna see my version of Roxio's Toast Titanium software running on Mac OS X Snow Leopard. Loading the drives up, very simple. You just touch that touch sensitive button on the drive and then pop your media in and then another touch on the button takes the tray back into the unit. Now just to let you know, I'm using these Tracks Data uh, four speed recordable Blu-ray single layer discs. They cost around about three to four pound each in the UK and that gives you 25 gigabytes of storage space. Now to write this in toast when it's full of data takes just over 22 minutes. So it's quite a speedy drive and it actually writes these Blu-ray single layer discs at six speed. It also supports writing to a dual layer Blu-ray disc at four speed. And you can of course write regular DVDs and CDs as well. Well, it's a great result that this drive actually is supported on Roxio's Toast 10 Titanium. Okay, so it's a shame that it won't actually play back the media, so I can't play back a Blu-ray film, but I can gain access to that massive 50 gigabytes of storage on a dual layer disc, or 25 gigabytes on the single layers. It's now affordable too, because this LU10 drive is only about 165 pounds. So if you do a lot of archive into disc, then this really does give you the perfect solution. Well, thanks very much for listening. This has been Dave from geekanoids.co.uk. Come back soon and check out more reviews. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.